how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and today I want to talk a little bit about home carry. Now, home carry is one of those things that doesn't get talked about, I don't think, enough. You know, a lot of people talk about concealed carry and things that you should do while concealed carrying and always having a firearm when you leave the house, but what about when you're in your house? Now, when you're in your house, I think it's just as important. Yeah, we lock our windows, yeah, we lock our doors, and we do the things that keep us safe while we're within our house. But when's the last time you saw the news when there was a home invasion, a break-in, a robbery, or something like that, where somebody was confronted by somebody they didn't expect to be in their house, say, oh yeah, I knew it was going to be there. It's almost always, if not always, I walked into this room and I came face to face with an attacker. I walked into this room, I walked into my house, I walked into this dwelling, and I came face to face with somebody who meant to do me harm. So what that means is, is that unbeknownst to you, somebody has gotten into your house some way. Whether or not they broke a window and they didn't hear it, you didn't hear it, whether or not they figured out a way to open a window quietly, or you just that one time that you forgot to lock your door, they found their way into your house. So while you're going about your daily business, you come around a corner and guess what? There's one, two, three people there. Well, now if you took your firearm off and you have it in another room or you have it somewhere where it's not accessible to you, you don't have it on you. You can't defend yourself at that very moment when they surprise you. That's why home carry is important. Have that firearm on you so that at a moment's notice, if something happens, you can engage somebody up close or across the room, whatever it is, and defend yourself. Now, I home carry all the time, whether it's concealed, if I have people coming over, or if it's open, and I just don't really care. So I guess my point is, whether or not I'm open carrying or concealed carrying, I'm always carrying a firearm when I'm at home. And that's because, you know what, I have responsibilities here, and you have responsibilities. Not only do you have the responsibility for your own safety, but if you're a father like I am with little kids, you're responsible for their safety, or your wife's safety, or anybody else that's in that house at the moment, I'm responsible for their safety. So instead of having something that is in the safe and inaccessible at a moment's notice, or even something that is, let's say, just in another room, but it's easily accessible, it's not on you at the moment that you come face to face with an intruder or face to face with an attacker. So having that on you, I think, is paramount. It's, it's imperative to have something to defend yourself at a moment's notice. Now, another thing that a lot of people talk about is my spouse or you know somebody that lives with me they don't feel really comfortable around firearms and it just prevents me from having it on me I just keep it in the safe next to my bed that's where the concealed carry comes in don't tell them if they don't want to know if they don't really like it you still have responsibility to yourself and you understand that a responsible person with a firearm can save lives do it anyway. Just do it in a way that's a little bit more discreet and go around that whole topic, but always have a firearm on you when you're at the house. Don't just get lazy if you're a concealed carrier. You know you have a gun on your hip all day long and it's kind of getting heavier, it's annoying, it's frustrating. You come in the house, you take it off, you put it on your nightstand or you put it in a hand safe, whatever the case is, you just you walk away. I'm home, I'm in my safe zone. You know, we all prepare for the bump in the night. We have our flashlights and we have our either weapon-mounted flashlights or handheld flashlights. We have our firearm, easy access. Um, and, and we're preparing that if we hear somebody possibly breaking in the house, we can respond. That's not necessarily what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the bump in the night. I'm talking about home carrying while you're awake and you're making dinner and you're moving around your house and you're cleaning up and you're taking care of things. For the unexpected times, for that one in a million chance that somebody actually broke into your house, and means to do you harm. Now, where I live, it happens more than frequently, uh, way more times than I would actually like to admit for my area and where I live, but I stay vigilant, I stay alert, and I stay armed. I'm a responsible adult, I am a parent, I am a father, I am a protector, and that's my job. So if I'm at home and I don't have a way to instantly protect my family, I feel inadequate. Now, I'm not saying that I am in any way fear for my family's life, I'm not, but, I also wear my seatbelt just for a one mile trip right down to get a gallon of milk from the local liquor store. So if I wear uh, my seatbelt for a quick two minute drive, uh, I sure as hell am going to have a gun on me for, you know, the amount of time that I'm at home. Anyway guys, that is my personal and particular view on home carry. Yours might be different and that's fine. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. But if you decide to ask me, what do you think about home carry? Absolutely. Carry all the time. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.